I just didn't feel like people were trying, they didn't care. I just wanted people to see what you can do, you know, and I just wanted people to see that if you actually put the effort in, you get the results, you get the shop, you get the customers, you can make this hobby work. So as I went on, I realised I wanted to do more. I wanted to create a revolution, the Solly Revolution. Greetings revolutionaries, I'm Dale for Solid Revolution. So today we're going to feed our corals um, in the tank, so you're going to see how that works. We're going to be using our own product, which is uh, Coral Pro 1. So that's the amino acids, and we'll use that as a pre-feed. Then we're going to use a Pacific food depending on the corals that we have in the tank. So you'll see all of that go, up, go on, you'll see how easy the system is to use, and you can see the feeding response from the corals. So we're now at the tank. We're, today we're going to feed Concept 1. Um, obviously it's Coral Pro 1 first. So we turned the pumps off, obviously we've left the lights on white, normally you would turn them down. This is a new bottle so it's going to take a couple of pumps to get some, there you go. Just one square, 100 litres. So we'll leave that to go around now for about 20 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll feed the coals. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. So it's now 20 minutes later, we're now back. As you can see the coals are starting to extend. So obviously if this is a soft tank, we're going to use coal, pro, uh, coal food number 4, the soft one. So all we do is one squirt 100 litres again, obviously this is a new bottle so it's going to take a couple, there you go, just one squirt there, one squirt there. We'll leave that to go round and round the tank, all the coals will feed, it's that easy, it's broadcasting. Remember just to lock it, you just give it a squirt down and then twist the lid, lock that food back down and that's it. So we're now going to let the fox coals feed, that will really help with their growth, the colouration, everything like that. So it's important you try and do that once a week, we always do it for water change day so any excess food is taken out. So tomorrow we're going to get in there, we're going to do the water change on the sump. It'll be dead easy to do. Um, we're going to show you how to do it. So we'll do that and then there's a bit of footage of them just feeding now. So I'll leave you with that. Okay, bye.